Welcome to your ball gown slim down workout. This workout is a part of the Bridal Bar Bootcamp that gets you in wedding shape in 30 days. Receive this entire program in your inbox by signing up with the link below. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. And now let's get into the workout. So let's begin. We're gonna start with our legs out nice and wide. We're gonna start right away with our first interval down to the floor and come all the way up, reach. Good, tap down and reach. So I have my wrist weights on and I'm gonna keep them on for the whole class. I like to just add that little bit of intensity with my arms. So if you wanna add that in, then go ahead and do it. I love it because it just makes me think about my posture more. It engages my shoulders, my triceps, lats. So go ahead and throw those on if you haven't yet. So we're getting into the body right here. So we've got 30 moves. <laughs> we're doing 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off, no repeats, unless we're doing right and left, of course. I love working out like this because it just means you give your all for that interval, knowing that you don't have to come back to it again. Okay, 10 seconds break. We're gonna come into a second position plie. Hold on to that core. Here we go. So elbows are lifted up nice and high. Try to get those legs out wide. So squeeze that glute behind you. Squeeze those booties. Press those knees open. You're gonna feel those inner thighs stretch as they work as well. This is really good for toning your thighs and your glutes. And let's work those arms. This is all about you connecting with your body, feeling positive, feeling strong, feeling empowered, right? By, by pulling the power from within. Nothing feels better than that, right? Okay, we're gonna go into a little crescent reach. So you're gonna step back, reach the arms up, look up, and then come back to center, step back, reach up. So I love this one because it really works your balance and really engages your whole body, right? From your toes to your fingertips. Back legs stay straight. Nice big sweeping motion with those arms. The bigger motion with the arms, the better. Really try to Look up too, that's gonna challenge your balance. Make your core work a little more. Good. Okay, we're gonna go back into that crescent. You're gonna reach both arms. You're gonna open it up right here. Nice twist and bring it forward. Here we go. Using those legs, using that core, expand through your arms right here, reach. You're gonna use all those little intercostal muscles here. Get deeper into the legs. See if you can look back. So you're changing your gaze. Again, this is challenging your balance. Woo, see? It's okay if you kind of fall. And come up, good. Okay, shake it out. We're gonna go to the other side. Challenge yourself by making this stance really wide. Good, expand right here, reach, reach, reach. Look all the way back. So think about your posture, right? You're getting ready 
to be the center of attention that day. It's, I know it can feel like a lot, right? And this is gonna help you just feel tall and proud and radiant in your body. Good, we're gonna take the block right here. We're gonna pulse it down three times. Then it's box lunge to a lift. So one, two, three, and up. My arms are going with me. One, two, three, and up. Good, so squeeze that booty up at the top and then squeeze your shoulder blades right here. Notice my palms are pressing up towards the sky. One, two, three. These wrist weights are also adding that weight onto that leg. Good, one, two, three, and up. Getting a little bit of that cardio, that heart rate coming up right here. Whew. You're doing great. Let it burn. Okay, now we're gonna do knee drives right here. So you're gonna stay pitch forward, pull it in, reach, just like that. I need a little break, here we go. And in, in. I know those arms are gonna get a lot. Stay deep into that standing leg. Woo. You got it. Keep smiling, that's what I do. It does help. Up, up, up. Even if it's burning, you can do it. This is what you came here for, right? Woo. Long time before I knew us to follow through. Hold out, don't give it up. Good thing can come to those who wait. Okay, turn the block forward. We're gonna do a little squat down to lift up. So squat and up. All right. Let's actually take the arms out to the side. Right here, I want you to stand up all through the leg, all through the top of the hip, through the crown of the head. Really tall, proud position there. Reach to the fingertips. Break down when we're apart. Too far, I'm in the dark. I want you to press through that heel. Make sure that the toes, you're able to wiggle them. Really press through the heel. Good. Sit that booty back. Nice. Okay. Whew. High rates up, right? I know. Low impact cardio. Sneaks up on you, for sure. In all the best ways. Okay. Now we're going to hold it here. Little pulse. We're gonna add a little heel lift and lower. Up, lower. Hold on to that core. Can you get a little bit lower? Meet me down there, let's go. Get a little deeper. Man. Oh, take breaks when you need it. I definitely will be. And all I need is the yes, you can do it. I know it burns, but that burn is making the muscles change and getting stronger. Have that positive association with that burn. Okay. We're going to the left side now. Everything we just did, left leg. I know. Here we go. One, two, three and up. Really press through those palms. Feel that back getting taller with each one. Expanding through your extremities right here. Point through the toes, point through the fingers. Nice.
get lower. You can do it. <sighs> Knee drives. Shake it out. Let's do it. We're doing it together. Don't leave me hanging. Let's finish this strong. Give it all you got. I think that's what's most important is knowing that you really did give it your all. You're not stopping at 75%, right? Whew. You wanna walk away feeling like you did your best. Take breaks when you need it, and then get right back in. And then push yourself when you need it. The best thing you could ever be is your own best coach, right? Cheering yourself on, pushing yourself a little bit past that discomfort. Oh, okay, burn it. Let's go to the side, a little squat to lift. Here we go. Making sure that the left leg is still on the block. Core tight. after this. Okay, here we go. Down to the floor. We're gonna do a push-up. Right knee comes in towards your chest. Let's go. Little push-up, curl it in. You can always modify on your knees and then just pull up for that part, okay? with the right knee the whole time. to stay right here, we're gonna go elbow, reach, elbow, reach. Nice little active recovery compared to the other stuff, right? So a little elbow, reach, elbow, reach. So really squeeze those elbows together. You're in this little like zigzag position with your body. So try to Flex forward. Let those triceps get a nice good burn. Good. on the other side. We can do it. <laughs> I gotta cheer myself on too. Here we go. Push up to tiger curl. Knee comes all the way. Try to kiss your knee.
almost there. Get one more in. All the way, finish it out. Good. All right. Same thing, but we're just gonna pulse it out the whole time. Arms are straight. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. All right, let's go. After this, we're gonna move into some booty work. Whew, my heart rate is up. I love getting my heart rate up without running, right? Or like traditional cardio moves. Whew. Good low impact way to really take your body to that next level. Whew. Allow yourself to enjoy this time. I know, as challenging as it may be, just know that the challenge is making you stronger, getting you to where you wanna go. Okay, let's take these wrist weights. We're gonna put them on our ankles now as we move into some booty work with the block. Whew. How are you feeling? You doing good? Well, I'm just proud of you for being here. It takes a lot to just make that time for yourself. I know you've got a million things to do. It just never ends. I know, I'm like, it's like so much work putting on a wedding. I'm like, this is insane. I didn't think a year would be, I thought a year would be like way too much time, but it was like just enough time to get the whole wedding together. I still have so much to do. Okay, so we're gonna put the knee on the block here like this. And then, what are we doing? Okay, yes, <laughs> I have to look at my notes. Knee is down, we're gonna lift and tap, that's it, okay? So elbow is down, try to square yourself off, here we go. Tap, lift, tap, and lift, good. Yeah, I was so surprised. I'm like, how is there something that I need to be doing for the wedding every single day? Like every day, there's something. I'm like, this is crazy. Like, there's just, there's like the next, you finish one thing, it's like, oh, I got the invitations out. And then it was like, okay, now you gotta work on the signage. Now you gotta work on this. Now you gotta work on that. It's just like, so much. So I need to, I get to remind myself to enjoy the process, it's like my lifelong practice of always remembering to enjoy the journey. Because that's like half the fun, right? Is the build up. So, if you're feeling super stressed like that, it's good that you're here. And just remember that this is part of the fun, right? The prep. Okay, we're gonna go side, up, cross, up, Top side, same leg, make sure you're on the same leg. Getting that nice, good booty burns. That's why I like working on the block, because it just adds an extra challenge of being up just a couple inches. But it makes your booty work that much harder. And then it gets into your hamstrings a little bit too. Ooh, feeling the burn for sure. Keep it going. Almost there. So this workout definitely gets your full body. A little break, we've got two more on this side. Catch your breath. So maybe you're not getting married, maybe you're someone who's just, maybe you're going to a wedding or you just got another event to prepare for, you know, like a big, maybe a big presentation or there's just something big going on in your life. I think it's always, always a good practice to remember to find joy in these, the preparation of it. How can you have the most fun in the prep of it all? which is so challenging for me. I always get so stressed. So, but honestly, the best part of my day always is my workout. It's like what I look forward to. It's like when my brain, I feel like gets a break. I get to just kind of be in my body and be present, right? 
So, if you're like me then, you get it. All right, we've just got one more. And then we're switching sides. So we're just staying up here, we're doing little kicks. Kick, kick, kick. Good, feel that glute working like crazy. Practice good posture right here. Shoulders down, lift your heart and chest up. You're doing awesome. literally dripping in sweat. It's okay. All right, left side. Tap and lift, tap and lift. Making sure that you're not like really leaning over into that hip. You wanna keep the hip right over the knee. Lift and tap. pointing the toe and keeping the leg as straight as you can. That's where you're gonna really start to get into the hamstring and the lower part of the glute, right where it meets the thigh. Good. So you can work on getting that booty nice and perky. Maybe you're doing a big first dance. This, these workouts that I do for you are really good for that. Just thinking about whenever you're dancing, right, you gotta be graceful, Expanding through the body, being present in your body. That's what dancing is really all about. That's why it looks so beautiful, because it's like, oh, they're so like connected to their body, right? Good, so we're tapping side, up and cross, up. Good, feel that leg work. Two more here. We're getting there. Okay, here we go. We're gonna tap the elbow to the knee, touch it all the way down there, and expand. Right here, expand, lengthen through the body. It's a different feeling than just weight lifting, right? You're thinking about moving beyond your extremities. one for the leg. We've got a few more leg exercises after this. Little kicks, little kicks. And then some core. And then if you're in the app with me, then you're doing your finisher for that extra little bonus. Make sure that you comment down below. Let me know how your journey's going. Check in with me, let me know what day you're on. Whew. And just how your whole wedding process is going. Or even if it's just for another event, I wanna hear how you're using this to prep yourself. Maybe it's a vacation. Lots of people do it for vacation. It's always a good, good reason. 
Okay, what are we doing? We're going on to bridges. <laughs> All right, we're getting so close. So we're gonna put your left foot down, heel into the bridge or into the block. Lift and tap. That's it, lift and tap. Good, really dig into that heel. Activating the hamstrings. Try to tuck the pelvis under so you're not getting too much into your low back. Good, and then we're gonna switch sides. And then after this, you can take your ankle weights off. All right, let's go. Last one for the leg right here. that core nice and tight. Also, I encourage you to bring in your friends with these workouts. The more, the merrier, right? When you have friends go along with you, then you're gonna definitely help keep each other accountable. off right here. Three moves left. We're going to go into a core exercise. So we're going to thread through here, expand through the legs, just like this. All right. So I'm just taking the block, taking it through the legs, just adds a little bit of weight. Also a little coordination. Good. Press the lower belly into the low back, into the floor. Think about pointing through the toes. Beautiful legs here. Nice, keep it up, keep it up. Come on up, two left. We're gonna do a nice little twist here. So twist with the block, that's it. Twist, 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 good. Using those outer oblique muscles, tightening up the waist. Woo. So good, last nine, eight, seven, six. Count down with me, four, three, two, and one, good. Okay, last one, we're gonna go from toes. We're gonna take it in our heels like this, expand, take it in, and reach. So nice little pass off, let's go. Nice strong finisher right here. Remember, you are so strong. Anything that feels overwhelming, just take it one step at a time. Write it all down. And just take it one at a time, right? Anytime I write things down, it helps. That's why in the app, I have the daily journal for you, because it really helps to just get it all on paper.
All right. Oh my goodness. We made it all the way through. You did such a good job. Let's take a quick cool down. Make sure that you're checking in with me. I love it when you take a sweaty selfie. Hopefully you're as sweaty as I am and you slide into my DMs and I can repost you and share you on the videos. That's always my favorite part. So make sure that you're sharing and also getting your friends involved. That really, really helps me out so I can keep creating really good workouts for you. All right, continue to cool down. Do your finisher if you've got that. Good job. Awesome job, you made it all the way through. Now, if you're wanting to upgrade your experience and get the best results, then download my brand new bar definition app available now in the app store where you can get your bonus finishers, recipes, and notifications to help keep you on track. Download it now and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.